Sweetie Hills, Kelly, y'all. And the thighs don't match. Well, 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 well. Turn to your neighbor and say, OMG. It's the Raphael Dawkins with the Combat Radio. And it's the Denzel gets beat by Nathan Heaney. Denzel was expected to win. Some people had him winning by knockout. Thought he would win by knockout. I don't know why. I always thought it would be a points affair or maybe late stoppage. Okay, TKO or something. But uh, Nathan Heaney was unbeaten, hitherto unbeaten. And uh, Denzel Bentley was coming off a very respectable showing against Al McConnelly. Zanibek Al McConnelly, however you want to pronounce that. And he was expected to do rather well against Nathan Healy. But it was not to be. I thought it was a close fight. I didn't score it. I wasn't uh, sitting down intensely watching it, but I was kind of watching it. I was kind of watching it. And what I saw was Denzel Bentley with the better quality work, but Nathan Healy with more volume. And uh, credit to Healy. He did put together throughout the fight some nice combos. But I thought the better quality of Denzel's work might see him through. But like I say, I wasn't scoring it. But I was a tad surprised when I saw the scorecards. We had a 1-14, 1-14, a draw, and uh, what else did we have? 1-17, 1-11, that's a wide margin. And Steve Gray with 1-16, 1-13, which I could see more than the 117, 111. I guess it comes down to how you were scoring the fight. I was looking at the quality of the work, but there is a strong argument for the volume of Healy. Healy definitely won the battle of the volume. Denzel won the battle of the quality. However, Denzel was stepping to Healy uh, through the early part of the fight. I think up till maybe round five. But it was a strange tactic because then he switched and he started fighting more on the outside. So it was a tale of two cities with regards to Denzel Bentley's tactics. First stepping in and then staying on the outside looking to counter. Two very different tactics. And I guess the quality wasn't enough. You needed some volume with the quality. And that's where Healy came through. Like I said, I was surprised when the scorecards came in to find that Healy was the overwhelming winner on uh, two of the scorecards, certainly one of the scorecards, a massive winner. I thought it was tighter than that, but then I didn't sit down and score the fight. Uh, I was multitasking. So it comes down to, what did you think? Definitely, I can see Healy getting it based on volume. Okay, so... Get out of the way, Bowers. Uh, are the Bowers? Are the Bowers? Remember Daniel Dubois? He got to uh, let the Bowers go. Uh, when it comes to his training, they still manage him. But Daniel Dubois let him go as his trainer. Went to Shane McGuigan and, of course, uh, left Shane McGuigan and is now with uh, Derek Chisora's old coach. His name escapes me. Okay, so there you have it. Denzel Bentley disappoints again remember when he fought Felix Cash and came off significantly short got stopped in three rounds he needs to sort his tactics out he wasn't using the jab very much at all relying on one shot I don't think that suited him at all it probably harmed him almost certainly harmed him he just needed more volume and didn't come up with it so congratulations to Nathan Healy their fight got moved up to the top of the bill due to the fact that Healy, with his fan-friendly style, cultured kamikaze almost, but he's not kamikaze, he just looks it. He's very good at getting his head out of the way, often times, slipping and moving. Quite slick, quite a slick boxer. So congratulations goes out to Nathan Healy. Denzel Bentley needs to take a look at himself to figure out where he goes from here. Do changes need to be made? And if so, what changes?
Okay, so there you have it. It's the Rafael Dawkins. It's the combat radio. It's to have your saying. Where are all the other British uh, content providers on this topic? I looked around. I ain't seen. So I thought I best do my duty. Best do my duty and bring this to you. It's Rafael Dawkins, combat radio. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Loads of stuff on the channel for you. Congratulations to Nathan Healy. And so Bentley needs to take a look at himself and make some decisions. I'm out.